Hi Trumpets, welcome back. In today's video, Accent Book 2, page number 3. On this page, we have another accent on review. We're going to be reviewing the notes F sharp, second valve, A, first and second valve, B flat high, third line, first valve, and B flat low, below the first ledger line, also first valve. In the upper right hand corner, we have an accent or emphasis, ritardando, which to, means to gradually slow down, a fermata symbol, which means to hold the note until it's cut off by a conductor. We've got a slur, which is kind of like a tie. It joins two notes of different pitches, and you only tongue the first note. Divisi, which means divide or split parts. First and second endings. Take the first ending, repeat, take the second ending. Below that, we have a dotted half note, which gets three beats in 4-4 four, four time. We've got eighth notes, a pair of eighth notes, and that pair of eighth notes gets one beat. Each of the single eighth notes gets a half beat. We've got pickup notes. They're notes that come before the first full measure. Below and to the left of that, we've got dynamic markings, forte, loud, piano, soft, and the tempo marking andante, which is an average type speed, much like moderato. We've got some key signatures to review. Key signature with one sharp, that's F sharp. The key signature is G major. And then the key signature that has one flat, B flat, is the key signature of F major. Our last item to review is the time signature three, four, which means that there are three counts per measure and the whole note gets four beats. Let's jump into our first playing exercise, number five. It's called Echo Duet. It's an English folk song. In this piece, we've got to watch out for our F sharps, all Fs, our second valve. And one, two, part A, go. I held that last note out, that was because of the fermata. I made it longer. All right, now I'll play part B. You can join me or you can play part A this time and we'll have a duet. Make sure that you play your low B second valve. At the end, pick a note. Play the divisi, the top note or the bottom. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Did you guess which note I played? I played the bottom note. Our next exercise is Yankee Doodle. This American folk song is in 4-4 time and requires a B flat first finger. It's also made up of eighth notes. So remember you're counting one and two and three and four and. Ready? First finger F, one and two and ready, set, go. <laughs> Good. If you need to, pause and practice, then rewind and review and try that one again. Let's play it one more time. One, two, ready and go. <laughs> Great job. 
The next one is Exercise 7. It's a traditional song called The Man on the Flying Trapeze. It's in 3-4 time, 3 counts per measure, and it has a pickup note. That's the note that comes before the first full measure. So to start, I'll count 1, 2, 3, ready, go, ba. You play right there after the word go, which would be beat 3. Ready? Don't forget those B flats. And 1, 2, 3, ready, go. Did you notice our last measure only had two beats, a quarter note and a quarter rest? Well, that extra beat that we were missing is the note at the beginning. And did you know that a dotted half note tied to a quarter note is four beats, and it takes the place of a whole note when the measure is in three, four time. Our last exercise is merrily we roll along. Again, we have some eighth notes, and this time we're using our low B flat first valve. One and two, ready and go. <laughs> And there you have it, Accent Book, page three. So I hope this was helpful, and I hope you'll practice again along with me sometime soon. So until then, keep practicing.